Okay, welcome back to the Tecmoto channel and the next video in the log cabin series um, I'm going to be looking at internet. Um, now in my house, I live in the middle of a forest in the middle of nowhere um, and I get um, an ADSL line. That ADSL line is through BT and I get um, about 10 megabytes a second. Um, which is which is not great. Um, what's interesting about the internet is that from the olden days, you know, when we had 56k modems, um, there was a, a need to have more download speed than upload speed. Uh, but of course, as the world has changed and the way we use the internet has changed, um, we actually need pretty decent upload speed too. And if you have a YouTube channel, upload speed is important. So um, in this uh, in this episode, we're going to be looking at um, uh, adapting our internet. Um, and working through a way of um, increasing our speed both for download and upload. Okay, so as I said, my house internet is, is okay. Um, I get about 10 to 16 megabytes a second download. Um, I'm lucky if I get over one as an upload. Um, and I've got two teenage boys in the house who play a lot of games. Um, so you can imagine my internet gets a bit of a hammering. So in the log cabin, I'm going to try and have my own internet. Um, we're going mobile, um, but I just wanted to show you what my, my current household internet is like. So um, I've just got Ookla speed test here on the screen. Um, just run a quick test. So this is BT. Um, I pay for 70 megabytes. Well, that's pretty good today. Um, so it's on the weekend. So we're getting 15, 16 megabytes download speed on the hard line BT line. Now the upload speed, as I said, um, is a lot lower because uh, ADSL lines um, have less uh, bandwidth for upload. So that's pretty good, actually. I normally get about 0.58 um, under under one megabyte a second. So maybe because it's Saturday, um, I'm getting uh, 1.54. So 15 meg download and a 1.54 meg upload. Um, now on a mobile signal, um, you can get a better upload speed, so they dedicate, um, they have parity on the upload and download. Um, so we're going to give that a go. So first things first, uh, we needed an outdoor router. So I bought one of these um, routers. They are sealed, you can put them outdoors. Uh, they come with a little uh, antenna that you can use. Uh, two of the antenna are your Wi-Fi and two are your 4G uh, receivers. Um, that didn't work so well, the signal wasn't great. Um, so I bought a, a directional antenna, which is supposed to improve and uh, and give some gain to the signal and boost the signal. Um, again, this this wasn't fantastic. Um, you know, I, I didn't get a, a great signal. Um, so I bought an omnidirectional um, antenna. This improved the signal, and I didn't have to worry about which direction I was pointing in. Uh, but again, the signal I was getting was around 11 or 12 megabytes a second. Um, so we decided to ramp it up a little bit. I took the old satellite dish off the side of the house. We don't use it anymore. We just use sort of Netflix and Amazon and things, so we don't need it. So I took that off um, and decided to give it a clean, strip it down, and see if mounting an omnidirectional antenna on a satellite dish improves the signal. <laughs> So here is my um, prototype. Um, before we program it on the computer and do some 3D printing, I actually make it look a little bit prettier. Uh, but just as proof of concept to see if it works. Um, we want our uh, satellite dish, this is the back of the satellite dish, we want it to go up and down. So I've just got a little hinge in here. Um, and we also want it to go side to side. Um, so I've got a little uh, pivot point in here. And I've actually used some, uh, some weight um, bars um, with the, the, the actual fixings for the weights 
to hold it together. So under here, there's another one. Um, and if I tighten that up, this doesn't move at all. If I just give it a little tweak, it moves from side to side. So I've got 180 degree movement um, because I've just rounded off these edges here. And I have um, quite a bit of movement here as well. Um, now I only need the satellite dish to be at uh, 45 degrees and um, pretty much level um, so I can do my tests. But the next thing to do um, is to 3D print some parts um, so that this is, uh, this is a little bit prettier um, and, uh, and I can lock these positions in place. So here are the 3D prints. Um, I've made them pretty solid, so I've done um, uh, quite a solid infill because I want them to be strong. Uh, but this piece is going to fit to the bottom of the satellite dish. This piece here is going to be my pivot point. That's going to go, uh, sorry, other way around. No, it will be that way around. This is going to go onto here like this. Um, 10 mil bolt uh, through there that we can tighten up with uh, possibly a butterfly nut or something like that. Uh, but it means that this can go on the pivot that can spin, then this can go up and down, and I'll be able to tighten this up to stop this from moving, and I'll be able to tighten this up and stop this from moving. So let's get it together and try it out. So we've also printed this piece here, which connects to the uh, the mounting block of the Omni uh, directional antenna. And this gives me uh, a mounting point that will fix to the existing clamp on the satellite dish. Um, so it'll be nice and straightforward to, um, to attach it. So this is our setup. Uh, first thing is a, um, a GSM um, 4G router. In the bottom of that router, there's a SIM card. Um, I got a deal through three uh, for £22 a month for unlimited internet, so I can use it as much as I like. Um, now, I've taken that through an external antenna down this cable here and through this hole here, um, and we'll just jump to outside. So we brought the cable out through the side of the cabin. It comes along the side here, so I'll run those properly. Um, but it goes up to the satellite dish that has been recycled from our from our sky. Um, so it's attached to the side of the cabin. On the end of the satellite dish, we, we've replaced um, the the sky parts with our omnidirectional uh, antenna, and we've used a 3D printed part here to mount it all nice and snug. So now let's plug, unplug the computer from the router. So I'm no longer connected to uh, the BT line. I'm only connected to uh, the wireless. So I'm only connected to log cabin wireless. Um, there's the net gear there, which is the hard line. Um, but this is the one that's on the uh, 4G uh, signal. 
So let's see how we get on. Okay, so the next thing to do is to work out where our cell tower is. Um, so we go to a special website for that. Um, it shows us where all the um, cell towers are, um, which providers uh, are on those cell towers, what the signal strength is, um, and more importantly, the direction. Now, I've bought an omnidirectional uh, antenna, but of course, satellite dish is actually capturing the majority of those uh, those waves and pushing it back towards that. So satellite dish has to point in the right direction for the cell tower. So um, looking at the map, I'm not going to show you where I live, but looking at the map, I need to um, I need to be just off east. So using a mobile phone um, compass, put that on the um, satellite dish, lined it up exactly so it's pointing at the the cell tower, um, and these are the results I got. So let's go back to Ookla and you can see we've got a 19 ping. Instantly we're up to 32, 33 megabytes per second um, as a download. I've been getting up to sort of 40s, 50s, um, but we're going to level out about 34, 35. There we go, 33.58. But the upload speed goes up to anything um, above 8 or 9 megabytes. Um, it averages around 6. Um, but 6 is a damn sight better than uh, 0.6, so I've increased my upload speed by um, tenfold. Um, as you can see here, here's an example of um, one that I got where I got 41 meg download and 6.52 upload, so it's pretty good. So that's it. I think it's been a, a huge success. We've taken our internet from uh, 10 megabytes a second uh, download and 0.6 upload all the way up to uh, 40s, 44, 45 meg download. And um, I did manage to get 17 megabytes upload, um, but uh, it hovers at around six or seven megabytes upload. So we've increased our internet dramatically. Um, it's unlimited uh, wireless and there is a way of bonding um, uh, 4G and ADSL lines, which which maybe I'll do next. Um, but that gives me amazing internet, which means I can stream. And uh, the difference it makes in uploading a video to YouTube, a video that would take an hour and a half to upload, now uploads in six minutes. Um, so chuffed a bit. I think it worked. All right. Thanks very much. Uh, see you in the next one.